Hey, welcome back all of my complicated type 1s, 2s, Monty's and Lattas. I'm Ben, I'm a medic, firefighter and a type 1 diabetic. So what is a complication and why does it have the worst name ever? I mean, honestly, who would ever want anything in their life called complicated? I know I wouldn't, but you should. Today, I'm gonna show you how to add a CGM complication to a watch face. Then we're gonna customize that complication so that it blends in seamlessly. So, complicated diabetics, are you ready? Let's configure some stuff. So what is the difference between a complication and a tile? Well, the first thing you need to know is that I will be utilizing two different watch face apps to make this work. And if you like what you see today, uh, go ahead and check out this video at the end of this video to begin the process. So a watch complication is anything on a watch face other than the time that provides you an added feature. For an example, if you go to the Galaxy Wearable app, you will find a section for watch faces. This one is called Analog Dashboard and it has some really cool customization options. As you can see, there are pre-made faces. You could change background colors. The indexes. Complication colors, we'll get back to that. And then several different complication circles. Now, depending on the watch and the apps that you've installed, this section will give you different options for things that you'll be able to utilize as a complication on your watch face. As you can see here, there are a ton of different options. Personally, I like to add things as complications that I don't want to have to look for in my tiles. And if you don't know what a tile is, there are additional apps that you can view when you side scroll on smart watches like these apps here. As diabetics, our highest priority is always our CGM numbers. So we're gonna put that right on the face, setting up a CGM complication. So now that you know what complications are and how they work, let's set up a custom animated watch face that allows for complications. First, let's find a watch face in the Galaxy Wearable app. Today we're setting up an animated face, so let's scroll down to graphical. You're gonna need to find a face that allows for circle type complications. For example, I really love the friends face, but as you can see here, the complications won't work for CGM values. This one called Sphere, this one works. So we're gonna go ahead and select this face and let's customize it. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, let's do a themed face. All right, I like this color. And we'll keep the same color on the hands. From here, we're gonna scroll down. And just a quick shout out to Kaj for allowing me early access to test out his blows complications while in beta. I'm not gonna show you those today. That will be a video coming soon. The one we're looking for today is called the wearable phone widget. We'll click on this. And then hit save. Now go to your watch and you'll see a new face with a plus button on it. Click the plus and we'll add the widget that we need. Now we're gonna scroll down to the widget called G Watch Wear App. Okay, great, it works. But to be honest, the black circle in the middle of this pretty cool animated Valentine's theme ball, 
It looks really out of place, so let's fix it. Just a quick reminder, if content like this is important to diabetics like you, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I'll do my best to keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of diabetes. Now, let's go back to our phone and open up the GWatch Wear app to change the fonts and the backgrounds to match. Okay, let's go to the widget text. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change these to either black or white. That's so that whenever we do have a discrepancy or a change in our uh, glucose numbers, um, the color of that text doesn't change, uh, trying to indicate to us that we're too high or too low. What we want it to do is always kind of be the same color so it doesn't clash with our background. So we will change these to black and white and then send the values. Now let's select widget backgrounds and find a neutral matching color. Once you've done that, hit select and send. This one looks pretty good. Now there is a black square uh, just behind it. Don't worry about that. We're gonna change that in a second. Let's get out of this app and open up the wearable widget app. Hit the hamburger in the upper left corner and go to settings. Now scroll down to widget background and open up your watch face for a color reference. Then try to do your best to match that color. Select refresh device. And there you have it, a custom themed animated watch face with your CGM values as complications. Now one more thing, let's add a tile so that we can see it better. I know these are really small. So what we're gonna do is side scroll on our watch face all the way to the plus. Hit the plus and then find the wearable widget tile. Okay, once that tile is set up, long press that tile, move your finger over to the left, and then drop it right next to your phone. And voila, all you have to do is scroll over one time to the right, and you get an enlarged version of that widget. Well, I hope today's information was helpful. If you haven't already, check out this video to set up the G-Watch and wearable widget apps that make all of this possible. I'm Ben, I'm Type Me, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>